talking to you. It was fun, you know. And I'm looking forward to being in touch. And we got a lot to talk about. We're going to want to talk about your life and that sort of thing. It's over? No. Oh. No, no, no. We, it's just been fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to have to do a couple of those tricks for people because that's really amazing. But we're going to want you to talk about your background and stuff. So this will be fun. Welcome. Welcome very much to our conversations. Pleasure to welcome to the program uh, Dorian uh, uh, Sagan. And he's a, well, he's a, he's a, he's a writer. And he is a, uh, a, he's also a sleight of hand magician, which can be very, very incredibly interesting and so forth. But he's a writer on science and other matters, but not only science, and literature and so forth. And uh, he's a very, uh, it's a, a welcome, very, very much, Dorian, to the Thank program. Thank you very much. Great to Manhattan Network. Wonder if you could. We got a whole 58 minutes, and uh -huh. so we want to share your own background, if you could, your own background a little bit, and then maybe where you're born and raised, that sort of thing. Yeah. And then we'll get into a discussion of the human condition and cabbages and kings and things like that. But wh wh what's your background, young man? Uh, born in a blizzard uh -huh. in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, uh -huh. 1959. So uh, just kind of winged it from there. No. <laughs> that's the past tense of wing, wong it. Wong it, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that, yeah. Been w winging it ever since, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, that's my, my, uh, my autobiographical past as a yeah. human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could yeah. go. I did further. a program. I did a program once with Timothy Leary, the famous psychedelic investigator. Yeah. And he began it. I asked him that, and he said he began it because he had traced it back to when the conception occurred. Okay. Yeah, he was at West Point, and his mother had danced with MacArthur the night that he was. And was conceived. it what, was the father the right father? Or? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Course, yeah, but I mean, it's just that, that it's because the whole pro that that infolding. Oh, never mind. I was just thinking no, no, about no. the the pregnancy period and the gestation period of a process is kind of interesting. Well, in the way, Chinese, you know? um, yeah. apparently date um, your age from conception, not from birth, which they makes do. sense so, astrologically. Yeah. Yeah. No, like yeah, for nine months yeah. add on that, but then you can get into the chronological yeah. age depending on you know how fast your age. People who are healthy tend to be yeah. younger in real terms physiologically, uh -huh. and you could go back to the birth of the atoms. You know. Go and back you, and to you're, you could be 15 billion years well, old, or it's a life form, yeah. you know, 4 billion. The one I want to go back to is the pre-Big Bang. Pre-Big Bang. <laughs> wow, that's a, fun, it, that's a funny thing yeah. because, uh, uh. because the Pope recently, we were talking about this earlier, yeah. had said that uh, you can, um, he, they accept now the fact that the Earth is not the center of the universe. Yeah, they finally geographically. They finally the Catholic Church Galileo finally, was off the hook. They got him off the hook about they, four years ago. Yeah, well, a little better a little late than never. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> but I guess they added a rider to it, saying that you can investigate. Science is pretty yeah. much investigate all time yeah. and space, except the Big Bang is the cutoff point. So yeah. you, the Pope doesn't really want anybody to look any 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 before the Big Bang. Yeah. And um, which I find that ironic because. Mm. Um, on this Papal co Scientific Committee is, among others, the most illustrious member is Stephen Hawking. Oh, really? From me? And, yeah. and in his um, Brief History of Time, yeah. he has this great Zen-like comment where yeah. he says, asking what happened before the Big Bang yeah. is like what's ask is like asking what is four miles north of the North Pole. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah. Yeah. de facto, uh -huh. saying that you can't look before the Big Bang, yeah. if there is nothing, if it's a, if it's a paradoxical question in yeah. the first place, it, it de facto means that, you know, all of the universe is open yeah. to scientific investigation as far as the church is concerned, yeah. as well as other people. But yeah. I, I actually gave this, I, I mentioned that in Star Island, yeah. which is a little island off the coast of uh, Maine, where I gave some talks, and they make fun of all this. Everybody who speaks there gets made fun of. That's yeah. that's how they it's pay like you. It's like a roast or something? Yeah, they yeah. roast you. Yeah. So that was... They roast you? Or yeah, were you one of the roastees or the roaster? I was a roastee. Ah, roast uh -huh. uh -huh. And um, <laughs> the MC said, um, he, he countered with the idea that you can't ask what happened before the Big Bang. Mm. And, um, he, and he said, in answering that, um, cone, mm. as it yeah. turned out to be. Right, yeah. Yes, something did happen before the Big Bang. I bought her a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's, 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 uh, that's, uh, okay, well, you know, okay, put him on the comedy channel. Yeah, yeah, right. uh, yeah. Anyway, you're interested in science and that sort of thing. And I, I think it's fair to say, I know your mother's Lynn Margulis, an outstanding biologist and so forth, and your father was incredibly famous as well. Uh huh. He did that tremendously important series uh, the, on, on uh, the Cosmos. Cosmos, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I was, when I was a teenager, I finally got to 
live with him. He'd been asking me, you know, for years, why don't you come and live with me? Because my parents split up when I was pretty young. And I see, yeah. I went down, um, and I got to, like, hang out and listen to, like, L.A. punk rock and Marlon Brando's trailer. <laughs> so that was, a, that was kind of a thrill for me when I was yeah. 18. Yeah, yeah First right. half of the year. And then recently, James Randi, who's a magician, uh -huh. um, had been invited um, uh, and he brought, uh, he was in a position of inviting people. Unfortunately, he got sick at the last minute to China where they were, I don't know if it was pirated or if they actually had permission, but yeah. they translated my father's show yeah. and, they, and they celebrated along with a science education project. So I got to go as part of, to you know, China. If, go to China oh, really? at the invitation of James Randi. And, uh -huh had the best Chinese food I ever. They have good um, Chinese food in China? Unbelievable. Amazing. They have Better these, than New York, huh? That, uh, yeah. I can't use the Not even the, the Tourette's type really. of, <laughs> of uh, superlatives yeah, that it merits, right. but uh. like they have... Uh, Peking duck? Well, they have yeah. this like um, mm. circular mm. Um, piece of apparatus and yeah. you will, you, will um, it, it, you make the soup, you, you cook the stuff in this boiling water, yeah, and then that cooks it, yeah. and it's you know not too much at all. Then you eat that, and then they eat the soup afterwards. So there's uh -huh. like kitchen utensils yeah. and right at the instruments table. at the table that you know don't even look like anything else except what they show in the mi in the museums over there. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so there's a lot of there's a, a lot of and and yeah, the food it, it was one time I went out with the translator when we weren't at technically being covered by the by the government, yeah, which mm -hmm. you know. For better or worse, um, but that was a Szechuan restaurant. That was that wasn't very good at Szechuan's all. Szechuan's so. different. It's Cantonese. Well, or, yeah, or, but that was, I guess from the Szechuan province in China, for the way he explained it, is because he's Huan. The main the main race there is Huan H U A N. Yeah. And the Szechuan for them, yeah. we, we have different connotations. You know, Szechuan spicy food is yeah, good right, and everything, but yeah. they consider the Szechuan's kind of like um, loud. And um, um, kind of like you know you would think of uh, southern yeah, oh people yeah. like you know gumbo or yeah, barbecue yeah or, and yeah. he said it's the cultures like that and this it wasn't like such one food that I was had here mm. it was very salty and mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah but you whatever. know about these things and yeah. if I if it's worth mentioning because you've written a number of books along coupled with your mother and other people and everything on evolution mm -hmm. all kinds of things scientific but you also wrote a book that you were the author of and it, uh, let me get it straight I think it's called Lunching with Jesus. And it's from the primal... No, cooking. Oh, cooking, cooking with Jesus. What's the subtitle? From the primal brew to the last brunch. That's a real pun. Yeah, I mean, I thought, the last supper, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I didn't... Mm. I, I couldn't take it all away. I wanted mm. to... What, did you want please. something more on there? No, I just, yeah. you know, I thought it would, that was a good place to stop. Yeah, yeah. brunch. Brunch. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, we didn't get to No need to, you know, no, to dinner. beat it to death. Yeah, yeah. okay. And that, that actually I, had to I, be, Yeah. You uh, have the book or something? I or? have it here, but uh, oh, maybe really? to maybe yeah. I could illustrate. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you're the also metaphysics I think, of, okay, and uh, and we also ought to let people know <laughs> that he is a not only a great scientist with a great scientific background and so forth, and understanding all these complex questions of purpose and universe and the biological uh, process well, and everything, and entropy and everything. Uh, but he's also a tremendous sleight of hand card uh, uh, magician, right? And yeah, apparently would, you're going to demonstrate a little of that by way of talking about the book uh, Cooking with Jesus. Well, yeah. Um, now On top of the onion. We have a now, copy of the onion. Yeah, right? that's for inspiration. Yes. In case things get too serious. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to ask you to do something that you're probably not Me. accustomed to do. I have doing. to be a cut. Oh, well, I, unless you can get no, it's right. from the I'll studio. Or, no, I'll try. The director, I'll try. I'll try. The I, I like trying to do things okay. like that. Well, the, the hard yeah. part is... Uh, I'm going to ask you to remember two cards. Usually two people cards. have to choose one card, but that's okay because you can show. I don't know if you can you show it up to the, yeah, to the camera show it, without yeah, showing it to me, but I'll turn my camera, head or something like that. This, it'll come here. So you put the cards here, it'll show. Uh, or it'll well, show. first let me. They'll cover it with the camera. So you just do I, first it. First let me see. This is what I'm, this okay. is actually what I'm going to demonstrate yeah, okay. with. This is the book. Okay. 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 And um, right. I'll put it here on the onion. This is the lunching with Jesus. Yeah. And so what I want you to do is just take two cards. Take two at one time or two separate ones. Clean. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Take two. Take two. Okay, and look them. at them, and I'll, I'll I'll turn I'll turn. I've got them. And to demonstrate, mm -hmm. um, I've got them right here in my hand. Mm -hmm. This is a kind of an Atkins yeah. trick. Yeah, okay. Atkins. Yeah. And so like so do you show Atkins? them to the to the cameras? Oh, they, well, they because otherwise the they might not appreciate. Can you see on the camera here? Don't let him see it. But you show it to the ca can you look at the ca there? You see? Do they get there it? There they are. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. They're done. Okay. Okay. I should have had one of those microphones mm, yeah, fired yeah. in my ear so yeah, that I could have known what the cards were. So now I put them back in the deck, or no? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Put them. 
put them back in the there. There's That's one there. Yeah. Go ahead. Both together? Yeah, if you okay. want. Make it okay. easy. Okay. Make it easy on yourself. Yeah, okay, yeah. I right. mean, this is your show, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But uh, uh, to demonstrate, mm. um, I'll mm. give you a quote in there, but I think I have Ralph Nader yeah. quoted in his book. I had yeah. some nice people actually said some nice things about it. I think his comment was, it's high in fiber. <laughs> <laughs> and it is. And you know, you know the thing about fiber. Uh, no. Well, basically, if you think about the universe, you know yeah. things that seem material are yeah. actually composed mostly of blank Everything is nothing but emptiness, resonance. Yeah. Emptiness. Yeah, so right. much, there's or so there's many scales of magnitude system, between yeah. the yeah. protons and the neutrons yeah, right. and the electrons. Amazing. It's like, yeah. it's like emptiness. It, yeah. it could be the, right. the source of yeah. Uh, yeah. those the uh -huh. existential philosophy. Mm, but mm. it's similar to my book, which yeah. is actually uh, kind of a a fractal version of the entire universe, including this its emptiness. This is Atkins. We're universe. talking about this Atkins. Is this is Atkins. What Atkins, is Robert Atkins? No, the Atkins diet. Yeah. No, I don't want to break anything. No, you didn't. It's like a tender, loving tap. You see How did you happens? do that? Wait oh, a minute. Wait Look a minute. What are you doing? Are they going to show the Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to try and get a high-pitched sound here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. You hear that? It's kind of Yeah. It's like a squeaky thing. I'll be dipped in. I don't know what. Cheap dip. And there they are. All right, that's So this right. is basically a very substantive book. <laughs> yes, I see. You can go right from the beginning to the end. It's like yeah. that. That's pretty clever. Well, did you that's ever, you nice. haven't seen this, though, have no. you? I haven't seen it. I haven't well, had you, a chance. I look forward. Do you have your um, reading monocles? Or yeah, should I, I have should to I read? Yeah, I go ahead. You do you. it. You do I'll it. Now with feeling. Reach down. Well, read really down. Feeling. Okay. Stanislavski, okay. reach down and really do it with Yeah, you know. okay. I'll really sell the line. This, um, these are some of the quotes I got here. Um, Delectable as the body of an Italian woman. <laughs> This is the book I have been waiting for since my untimely death. Mm -hmm. Napoleon Bonaparte. Mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders, eat your heart out. Here? Chef Boyardee. Mm. Oh, that. Oh, oh, there. Okay, go and, ahead. Um, Chef Boyardee, yeah. A work of pure subgenius. Bob. Yeah. Um, I love the pepper spray catfish recipe. It gave me an idea. Uh -huh. Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Yeah. A revelation, an evil revelation, uh, but a revelation. Uh, Billy Graham. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I'm just—I just consider myself fortunate. These are, these are acknowledgments of the book, is that it? Well, these are some. These are, are these are blurbs. Oh, you know? these aren't blurbs on your book. Yeah, these are things these that are people blurbs said. on your book. Yes. Really? Oh yeah. my gosh, that's really. You got Manson. Yeah. I got Manson, and finally, my son writes an okay book. Yeah. Carl Sagan. An or. <laughs> <laughs> and I got some real. I have yeah, some real yeah, quotes here too. Yeah, this isn't okay. all just you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. I've, I've probably I've probably already shot myself in the foot as well, far as like authority or well no I mean don't worry about but that. this is yeah. these these are real quotes in here yeah. too uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. witty and irreverent a fascinating vehicle for his fusion of science religion and cuisine something special Gail Winston senior editor Harper Collins publishers not a small matter delightful compelling vividly original. Uh, Roberta Tennant, editor in chief, Falcon Books. Uh -huh. That's one of those uh, vanity. Right? It's a vanity press. Okay, yeah. Um, hilarious. I laugh my head off. Mm -hmm. Lynn Margulis, uh -huh. member of National Academy of Sciences. Yeah, um, National Academy of Sciences. Congratulations, yeah. To your mom. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No okay, matter, well, she let's not get off a track. Demon man in biology. <laughs> um, thank you for sending me the manuscript for Cooking with Jesus by Dorian Sagan. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't feel that it is right for the Grove Atlantic list. Mm -hmm. Morgan Entrican, Grove Atlantic. Mm -hmm. I got an intriguingly offbeat amalgam of science, religion, and culinary arts. I'm afraid our consensus was that the audience for this book wouldn't be large enough for us to publish it successfully. That's Charlie Conrad. That's big. Bandum Double Day Dow. And then I got another one here. Witty and irreverent provides a fascinating vehicle for his fusion of science, religion, and cuisine. And cuisine. However, after reading a few chapters, I began to feel that his manuscript lacked a solid skeleton <laughs> on which to hang his voice. Gail Winston, senior editor, Harper Collins Publishers. I mean, that's nice, but I just—is that what one does with their skeleton? They, yeah. they hang a voice they hang on. A voice on, on a I guess. Yeah, I guess I, I fall short for that I on guess, that. Yeah, right, right. But um, no, yeah, this is available, really, yeah. on, uh, available on the, uh, Cooking Amazon with Jesus. Prime. Yeah, you can yeah. get it on Amazon. Uh -huh. Let's see if and, uh, I can hold it up. Let people see. Yeah, we'll, it's we'll good. Bring it up here, I guess. Yeah, it's like a, see it's it. a bachelor cookbook. Yeah, yeah it's great. It's really good. Inexpensive. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good gift item. You, I recommend you, you, it. You, you've actually got things of food, but you also got some yeah. There's like I have like this nuclear gorp recipe that I can't. Nuclear. Well, what I what I did is I took like Ghirardelli chocolate chips, nuclear gorp. Yeah. That's what I call it. You can uh, call it what you want. Okay. I took, but it, it was total serendipity. Yeah. You know, it mm -hmm. was like, kind of 
um, figuring out a recipe through divine revelation uh -huh. rather than like looking through another cookbook. <laughs> of course, I was, you know, on the mountain, so this is, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. the recording of it. What I did is I took Ghirardelli chocolate chips, mm -hmm. Um, walnuts mm -hmm. and raisins, all yeah. fresh, natural ingredients. Then right. I went, I went sunbathing. Uh -huh. I've totally forgot about them. I reached in my backpack and they were all melted. <laughs> I chucked them in the refrigerator, and then they got cold. I was like, "This is better than any candy." Was it's it really all, good? It was awesome. It really good. Yeah. It's like firestone and vulcanization. He did it because the stove was so strong. Really. Yeah, there's a lot of you know mm. scientific precedents we could get into. Yeah, that were right. Moved, yeah. But never, never anybody got to that particular. When did point. you do the book on uh, lunching with Jesus? When is that? What, Cooking when, with Jesus. Oh, I did it okay. a few years ago. Yeah. Okay, but. It's also been mingled in with a lot of other kind of writing you've done. You've been writing on, on biology and all kinds of things and entropy. Yeah, You're yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 mm. I've worked for actually the last eight years, or maybe it's nine now, with a man in Montana named Eric Schneider. Uh -huh. And um, he, uh, he used to be um, a head of uh, district division of the EPA, uh -huh. and he worked at NOAA. He was chief scientist at NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric yeah. Association. I think it's okay. something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he looked. He was became upset with uh, the inadequacies of the EPA's um, tests for toxicology. Really. And okay. he wanted to look for. Uh, basically, they took really hardy fish. They stuck mm -hmm. them in jars, and they worked from nine to five and didn't do anything on weekends. And just. Was, Wait a minute, he did that, or he, the, he when the, he the was working for the e, that was the standards people. But yeah. he was like, "There's no real. What is the basis for ecology science? You have to you have to distinguish between ecology and environmentalism. All you know? right, yeah, and What is important. the science of yeah. ecology? You know? yeah. And so yeah. what he did is he went back and he read all the literature and that's a lot. And he became very involved with this thermodynamic paradigm. Yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah. Right. So I've been popularizing that. He's one of a number of mm -hmm. scientists that I've worked. With included my mom, but it's I think it's very exciting stuff. I think it's the yeah. basis for complexity uh -huh. in terms of three dimensions without computer algorithms. Mm -hmm. Just how does complexity arise in nature? How do you yeah. get these cycling uh -huh. directional systems of which life, by the uh -huh. way, it is the prime it example is, is the prime as far as we're concerned? Example, yeah. But it's not the only example. Yeah, yeah. It's a and very important systems question because I mean it is a miracle. I was saying to you, it's just a miracle mm -hmm. that anything that exists, the biological thing, is so complex. Uh huh. You know, you got this DNA that overlays things in a system's way, and the thing, where did it come from, and everything like that. I mean, it's really, yeah. and it's so. You go into the, uh, Lewis Thomas, Lives of a Cell. What a beautiful book. Yeah, I, mean, I love that. He's, I think he's my favorite science. He's my yeah. favorite science writer. He was beautiful. I, he was. He was a great, yeah. great essay, a great stylist. I yeah. mean, always used. Um, the English roots of words, never the Latinate, you know, kind of uh -huh. excesses that you yeah. might find in Stephen Jay Gould, not yeah. to pick on him, but he yeah. does get kind of rarefied sometimes. But yeah. he's always very simple, but very uh -huh. profound, uh -huh. and uh, maybe almost comparable to like an American Montaigne or something. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. He, we used to have some popular, I, Asimov wrote on everything, yeah. you know, in a way, and it's also accessible. Making these interesting things from science yeah, accessible to a wider audience, intellectual or even beyond, if you can make it accessible to the folks, to, if you can make these complex things of accessible to them, that's really an important thing if you can manage that. Yeah. Right? If you can manage that yeah. without violating the science. You know? Yeah. It's a it's a tricky, it's an epistemological it's a problem yeah. because yeah. what happens is you know something mm -hmm. and for you to learn something you have to familiarize yourself with it in terms of what you already know. Yeah. And what tends to happen is that people are refractory to mm -hmm. learning things because they can only understand the unknown in mm -hmm. terms of the known. So That's by the right. time it's like it the becomes gold. the unknown becomes known, then it becomes changed into their familiar metaphor. So it's right. very difficult right. to like make that you know, that's kinda of yeah. like the Gestalt jump that mm -hmm. Thomas Kuhn and Luke yeah, Fleck and people the talk about thing, the yeah. scientific revolution. Or, or the uh, yeah, or the the idea that uh, the goldfish bowl can't understand the water it's swimming around in right. outside the goldfish bowl or get outside of it in a system's way or something, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like I that. think we're getting a little too serious. Maybe here, so. You got another trick we could do? Well this or is you, yeah, this is uh what happened to my water? I, that, oh, I, I don't that know. wasn't block on the you other You have thing. to just. Yeah. This is um. Okay, what are you doing? You got two cards. Well, this is um. This is more of an illusion, yeah. optical illusion. Yeah. But I thought that's why it'd be interesting to see what this looks like. Yeah. On TV, but mm -hmm. um. Yeah. Okay. They're what you have is a, a king of diamonds. Yeah, and it's folded. Vertical. Folded oh. longitudinally, and yeah. then you got the extra joker. All oh, right. Because yeah. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. If I'd known you was coming, I'd brought the joker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so I'm gonna. Um, spread this. This is actually a card trick invented by Paul Curry, one of the great 
course, he's not a household name, but one of the great no. inventors of uh, magic tricks. You know, they don't, they, they don't always get yeah. and I, recognition and I, like yeah, they deserve, because, maybe. People yeah. do the tricks, yeah. like David Copperfield stuff, but yeah. then sometimes the real work is going yeah, on is. behind the scenes. Well, that's nothing well, I can see. You've well, got this, a joker, you've got yeah, a yeah, well, gonna, I can do like that, Dory. I'm just I gonna book, do that. This is where it gets mm. interesting, Harold. No, okay. Mm. Now, even though there's not enough space for mm. this to happen in three yeah. dimensions, as we know yeah. it, it well, does you're appear, pushing it through. Yeah, yeah it it's coming out the other side. It sure. appears out yeah. as it goes through. So the king is coming. Through. I can do that, Dory. It's going. It, wait a minute. Well, no, how? Wait a minute. Yeah. So you t you put your glass yeah. out. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah I better it turns, put my, I want. It turns inside out. See, oh, even wait there's, there's not yeah. enough room for this to wait happen. A minute. Can we pick this up on the camera somehow? I mean, you got to pick it up. Get it, yeah, it, oh, here we go. There's okay, not enough now, room for this now. Now you're pushing it through. It's folded. Just yeah. get it, get yeah. it focused. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you, yeah, so you're pushing it through. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I can open now, it up. Now, yeah. how, 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 how did you do that to change? Because it was yeah. obvious that it was going through one way well, or another. Then, yeah. You push There's it the king right there. I can see it. Here's the joker. And it's coming through reverse. It's a kind now, of a time space. It's a, it's a warp. Yeah, it's a warp it is. It's like, it's like it's like a, a so tenth universe or something. Or but the, you, know. you know the funny thing mm. is, even mm. this, mm. even this. Uh -huh. After a while. Yeah, and there comes the king. Becomes born. You want to tell us the you want to tell boring. us the secret or not? Or you don't well, tell what I do is, how I, do you do? If I do like this. Yeah. Here, hold it, hold it firmly right there. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, you're gonna tear it? Yeah. You can't because it's like a telephone. Yeah, you're weak. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. But you can divide yeah. it in half, you see? Yeah. Yeah. And that half is face up, and that half is face down. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Now, come in on that, see? Yeah, how did you... Show them the onion. Yeah, that's a pretty... <laughs> show them the onion, yeah. Show them the onion upside down. That's really something. That's like that. That's... You know, so you don't want to extra, you don't that's want a to puzzle. tell. It's that's a, a great. You've been doing this for a long time, the sleight of hand thing, because you amaze me with this stuff. You can do it. I don't know how you do it. Do another trick. Do another uh, trick. Okay. Do another I trick. I don't know. Can they, do can another they see trick. Stuff, yeah? mm. Okay, I'll try mm. this one. Mm. I want to give an announcement. Oh, good. Watch this. There's. A, I can see. Can you, you come, come a little in closer. On, it, on the camera? Come in on I the. Can it. you come in on? No, not me. Come in on the on the on the on his hands if you can on camera two or three. They can see it. Well, I'll do it. Maybe you can see it, but. You know, it's a little bit. Maybe they can. Uh, no, wait a it. minute. Can't you come in on camera here? Well, I guess they're not. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe they're having coffee. Oh, here we go. Now here we go. Maybe they're okay. having coffee. Or yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. What are you doing? You're just. Well, just mm. kind of a waving motion. Yeah. Look at that. This is nothing. Mm-hmm. You got nothing in your hand. Nothing. You got well, no nothing, sleeves nothing. to put anything up. Tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah. Now wait. Let me try it again. Yeah. yeah. See if it looks. Because you yeah. don't see. This mm. is actually technically this is called a, a trick. Well, this is a oh. an Al Altman. Mm -hmm. That's an Al Altman double color change. Yeah, no. I yeah, think you can get it. Work? You can see the if you happen to have it home lying around. Yeah. Next to your Joy of Cooking. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the Joy of Cooking. Inner yeah. Secrets of uh, oh, the Bagel. Um, mm. It's a diaper. Mm. Lewis Ganson published book. Mm. Well, they have this written up. What I like to do though. How do you do I that? I think I can do oh. it. A, um, a triple color change. Can I look over your shoulder? I want to yeah, see. How, well, the what you do is how do you? I don't what know. you do is what you want to do is you take a card, right? It's a magic deck. You, you hold the card in your hand like this. Yeah. See? But I, mean, I don't. You do don't that. have anything no, no, in your All hand. I do, I just, I just wave my hand over the card like oh, this. Oh, you do magic. Instead I do it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you just really invoke magic. Yeah, that's great. Boy, that's really something. You remember in, in uh, the Sting, the guy did that and got the yeah, all screwed up. Yeah, I think that Paul was Paul Newman. He did it and he got well, it wasn't replaced. Paul. They switched in hands. I no. think the I think the hands were his. Were, were Francis Carlyle's. Hands. Oh, really? He's a yeah. famous sliding well, hand guy. Well, he's. Mm. I, I think I believe that's mm -hmm. the case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is a funny little thing right mm -hmm. here. But I'm interested too. That's it. really thermodynamically interesting. You know, I showed Did you see that? That's like an engineering thing. Well, you know, good I, when, you know when, my, when I showed mm. magic to my father, he had yeah. two reactions. Yeah. You know, because I studied this, and, yeah. and then I showed him like the fruit of all this work. And what did and he it, say? He had two reactions that no. were very. And one you. of them no. was he, mm. which is actually interesting, kind yeah. of philosophically. Yeah. He thought it was, and this isn't a, to speak directly to the question of magic per yeah. se, but. Mm. The fact that um, individual cars can assume this fluid motion, yeah, like you know, you right. see here in the in the spring, yeah. or the fan, yeah. or um, this this little thing, yeah. is an expert car like technique. Z, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
-hmm. And so it's funny because that's yeah. that's similar to like the particle wave duality. In really? A way. To me, it is. What is a know? particle wave duality? Well, just the fact that you know you can break things down into their constituent parts. Yeah. And look at them as mechanical creations, which yeah. we tend to do as human beings. Everything that we think is complex is we imagine it as being put together. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we do. Yeah. As being put yeah, um, like by a, a Swiss watchmaker. Yeah, but in it, terms it, of evolutionary ideas. Yeah, yeah but yeah. um. But then there's the whole too. So mm -hmm. the the wave, I mean the particle wave duality refers to uh, quantum mechanics. Yeah, right. Two slit experiments where it comes yeah. through, and then you know you can look at each point of light hitting, <coughs> or you can see. Um, but when it, when it, when it when you add it up at the end, mm. it looks like it must have all been in some sort of secret correspondence because mm. it is a wave. So. And that gets us down to you told me that if I did in conversation, you told me I, uh, you, that you had been you had been in discussion with. Uh, there you go. Okay. I think she wanted me to look. That's at good. That I camera. wanted to announce to the camera that there is one seat left in the um, table stakes poker game that this man is part of. Yeah, and I uh, if you. There's one seat left, table yeah. stakes. You could make your fortune by playing poker with him. If are you they going to be able to? Are they going to be able? Now here, to, can you see? Can you see? Are going to be able to get this? Can this you time? get this now here? Can, there we I go. Can show you it's something. coming in a this little. It's a, coming. You can see it at an angle, Dorian. Look at the screen. You can see it's okay. coming at an angle. Yeah, so work good. with the cam. Well, work with the camera. I don't know. You got three cameras. Mm. And yeah, I know, but you got to work with. You got to learn to work with the camera. Well, you know, this is I'm a novice. Oh, okay. I know. Well, we're just trying to help. We're only trying to help you in your career path. I don't think so. No ace. What yeah. I'm going to do is yeah. I'll do a little gambling you demonstration since there. you were yeah. you mentioned mm. Um, mm -hmm. the gambling thing. These kind of, so oh, what that's I'm, a perfect fan. Yeah. Well, so you're putting the ace in there, okay? Okay. Ace of spades, right? So we have an ace an here. Ace there, and an ace, an ace there, here. an ace and here. an ace there. Now show the camera. Show the camera. You got to show the cameras. Yeah. Okay, which camera? This camera. This camera here. Okay. Show, hold it up so they can see the, all the aces. It's four aces. Okay, right. four aces. Yeah. Okay. There. Okay. Right. Yeah. There yeah, you just, fold it up right. and you put so them in. They were, they, were, they were all set. They're all there's in there. You can see them. They're randomly distributed throughout the deck. There's at least yeah. a couple of cards between each mm -hmm. ace, right? Yeah, right. So now we'll, More than a couple. Now, now I want to show you. I'm going to show you. This isn't really. Mm -hmm. This isn't really a card trick. It's a dam demonstration of gambling. Uh huh. Oh dear. Um, okay. There's no okay. ace at top. There's no ace. There's no ace at bottom. No. The cards are squared up. That's right. Nevertheless, after years of practice with mm. one hand, oh. you can cut to an ace. You, you see that? Son of a gun. No ace at top. Yeah. No ace uh. at bottom. Uh-huh. The cards are squared up. Right. Nevertheless, after about 25 years of practice uh -huh. with one uh -huh. hand, you, you can cut to an ace. Now, nah, wait. But that's on stream and video. You yeah. can play it yeah. back. But yeah. look at it. Yeah. Well, let's try and, let's, <laughs> let's try play and it back. watch. Put this on your TiVo. Try and watch it face up there. Mm -hmm. See that? You didn't have that come out. There's an ace. No, well, I'll tell you. Well, but this isn't going to help you. This uh, does not help you if you're playing well, poker. Why? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think I want to play pack, poker with somebody who can get aces or When you cut the pack, Harold, mm. yes. it's, it's going to go to the person on your left. That's yeah. not going to help you. Yeah, that's right. You've got to have a one card. Yeah. You've got to have three it, cards yeah, down it, if it's it, a four it, card it, game. Right. So if you want to, if this is a real game, you want to do something more like this. So if you want to be practical, right? So you go. One. So how many then, people are in the game? How many people then, are in the uh, game, Dorian? How many people are in the game? Well, there's four people, like you yeah, said. Okay, so you okay, okay, one, right. two, two, three. three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's one table stakes <laughs> seat available for you to play with this young man <laughs> if you want to. It, it's just, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's just there. Table stakes, so you can do that. That's really good. That's really but, fantastic. Um, You've been working on this. That is really something else. And yeah. you can tell a lot of but lessons that's, from no, that's, that. No, mm. that's 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 just mm. you know, that's just gambling. I mm. mean, yeah, that's not gonna, that's no way to spend your time. Yeah, you want to get a real job. Have you ever been in Vegas or anything? Have you ever, you know, no, you don't get to date. They, they, you don't get to deal, do you? They you threw me. Don't they, have, they, they threw you out of Vegas <laughs> casino. Wait, I'll try, I'll sh let me show you something yeah, a little right, bit, a little right, bit, right. a little bit different. I'll right. I'll cut off about a quarter of this pack. Okay. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. And you cut off about a cut off about a third. Don't let me influence. Third you. of what's there? Yeah, about a third. Let me feel about a third. About a third. That's about, I would think that's about a third. So I'll show you. This time you cut it. Put it right here. Put it here. Yeah, put it right there. Yeah. Okay. I'll now cut this into about two. Ha uh, again, half? about half. But don't let me influence half you. Half of yeah, what's but here. The main thing is I don't want you to. In I don't want to influence you. I think I don't you want do. to. Okay. You, are you, you happy know. with that? Yeah. Well, you want me to look at it? Well, you just put it. You can look at it, but just put just it where? Put it right here. Put it out there. Yeah. Go ahead. Put it there. Okay. Okay. But the funny thing is, yeah. Do I have to show it to the audience? Should I show well, it to the audience? Well, I just think no. that it's, it, it would be a coincidence, right? Mm. 
Well, don't you think it would be a coincidence you cut the pack and you haven't been practicing? You son of a gun. They One seat like still available in the table Can stakes they poker Can game they see that? on the Century Limited. Be a little bit closer. Yeah. That's really sound. That's really sound. Be, that, that, you know, uh, hey, this is what you did. You yeah, had the ace. Yeah. This is sleight of hand. That was really something, man. You, you've been doing this since you were a kid and everything? Yeah. yeah. And who was it Who was it that you relied on to that got you into this? Uh, how did you get involved with the sleight of hand stuff, apart from all the science and all that stuff? Uh, well, I think a lot of kids go through that yeah. age when they're, you know, especially boys trying mm. to have some power over Is their Is that own something destiny. for the girls? Will, yeah, that, will that attract you know, young ladies that are doing that? I mean, oh, yeah. What if you're a young man? Well, you can do a card trick. Your sense could, of, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think uh, Freud wrote something it's like, about it's the It's like a peacock the croupier. spreading. <laughs> the croupier, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it has something to do with that. <laughs> anyway, let's talk a little bit if you can. Because you've, yeah. you've written, with your ma, you've written a yes. story, I know. And there's a site, you can go to sciencewriters.org, is that yep. it? W That's w a really good site to pick up, particularly on the career of your illustrious mother, which you would give the best regards to, and okay, I will, homage yeah. and so forth, and uh, so forth. But talk, you, you've written on some other matters. You, how many, if we go and do a search on you, you've written or contributed to how many books now are out uh, there? What are some of the titles and some of the okay. subject areas that you've dealt uh, with? Okay, well, um, I think, um, you know, not if you don't count editions, because uh -huh. it's t you could count each edition or translation. Yeah, that, no, you no, know, no, depends yeah. on. But I think, and then it's, you know, video guide booklets and stuff like that. You but, did a video guide booklet. Yeah, but I'm. Okay. <laughs> that's not. So, I, I don't necessarily <laughs> want to count that, but uh, I say well, the most. I say, the, video, I say yeah. the most. Um, mm -hmm. The best selling stuff. Yeah. And probably the most. Oh, that's one way to do it. The yeah. most important. Yeah. So far. Though, yeah. This thing that I'm writing with this guy in Montana is yeah. called Into the Cool. Uh -huh. That's with the University of Chicago Press. Uh -huh. And that's going to be on this and, entropy and, stuff? And, yes. Uh -huh. And that's, we could talk more. We could talk big, about Yeah, about let's. That. It's a big issue. And, and some, but some of the, some of that is already in, for example, this book, What is Life? Mm -hmm. What that is I wrote Life? With my mom. You wrote a book, What is called Life? Called What is Life, which is the same name as a book by Erwin Schrodinger, mm -hmm. which is a very little book mm -hmm. that was instrumental in um, inspiring some of the major players behind the development of molecular biology. Really? Okay. And okay. the discovery of the um, chemical structure of DNA as a replicating molecule. Not a small so matter. Not no, a small matter but he at looked all. At it a miracle. As a physicist, so, and he's yeah. Schrodinger. He's the same guy I did, like Schrodinger. Isn't he got cat. something to do with mathematics or yeah, uh, he's, uh, he's some he's sort of a formula or wave a equation? Yeah, like yeah. when somebody says right. collapse of the wave function. Yeah. That's one treatment of uh -huh. the of the ma mathematics of what happens during measurement uh -huh. and quantum mechanics. But yeah. he said, I want to. He gave some talks in Trinity uh -huh. a College in Dublin, and I yeah. think nineteen right near the end of the World War II. Uh -huh. And he said, I want to look at like the problem of life. I want to look at life as uh -huh. a physical uh -huh. process. Uh -huh. I'm not, he called himself a naive physicist. Yeah. I was probably a little bit naive disingenuous, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but because he wasn't a biologist. Bucky and Fuller wants to dare to be naive. I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. so he basically mm -hmm. um, explored two main ways of looking at life as oh. a physical phenomenon. Because it, there's always been this idea that What was the title of the book some, again? His title was What is Life? And that's what our, is Life? And as that, opposed to, let's say, there's a big thing in Monty Python as a moral movie called The Meaning of Life. And that comes up to Meaning of Life. There's a difference between what is life and the meaning of life. Yeah. Is there epistemologically? The I don't meaning know. Maybe, of life. Well, the mean, uh, meaning usually refers to a... I mean, purpose, if you look at the Latin, purpose. if you look at Latin, just what something means, say mm -hmm. in French, uh, yeah. what does it want to say, literally? Uh, yeah. So I think meaning is more of what is, what what can we say about it rather than what it is? It's like what does it bring up in a way? To these me. are important questions, and uh, words like ont uh, ontology mm -hmm. and epistemology. These are words and everything. But anyway, I didn't mean to get you off. No, no, I like throwing them around. Yeah, I like right, soteriology. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what? Just soteriology. What's soteriology? Uh, I'm not sure, but it, okay. it works good at cocktail parties. Sounds party, good. So. Yeah, it does sound good. It's got a nice alliteration. Eschatology. Yeah. I don't know. Just, yeah. That's kind of. They a, got a bunch of them, yeah, and everything. But uh, scholastic hangover. So there. anyway, there was that. You were talking about that. You were doing that, in it was the the per no the meaning no not the meaning. Well, that, we were talking the, about the, um, the nature of life. Is that the title the of the book? Foreshadowing of some of these issues about what life is, yeah. why it is, the yeah. thermodynamic bases uh -huh. of the complexity of life, and some of the work that I've that is already out there, which, for example, is um, yeah. in What is Life, mm -hmm. University what of Chicago Press, life? and yeah. then more difficult to find is What is Sex. Uh -huh. But That's, there's, a hint, yeah. uh, there's mm. a hint of this thermodynamic viewpoint mm -hmm. that I think will become more prevalent, because I think yeah. it's, it, it really holds together much better mm -hmm. than 
the chaos, the mm. fractals, uh -huh. the artificial life, all of these different so-called emerging com scientists yeah, of complexity, okay. yeah, complexity, which have in common and the, the fact that they're all they're actually models, they're yeah. computer models. That's right. You know, and you, but you know, like a a doll, uh -huh. a Barbie doll is not a woman. Uh -huh. right, 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 right. Like it's it says a here, yeah, right. Area it's seventh grader now a woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the onion. God bless her. Yeah, but you, you know, know there's yeah. a tendency for for people to confuse uh, reality with their models. Of well, the reality, reality is you know? a big thing. Where reality is a big question of that kind of thing. But and, the uh, difference between yeah. the, the thermodynamic stuff yeah. is. You're looking at how cycling mm -hmm. complex systems mm -hmm. that are materially cycling, mm -hmm. that are in the regions of energy flow, mm -hmm. are actually appearing and maintaining themselves mm -hmm. over real time in three dimensions. Mm -hmm. You're not making mm -hmm. a, something that looks like a cloud well. through a computer program yeah, and then saying reality. that's how clouds really are. You're, you're going to what Edmund Husserl, the founder of phenomenology, Husserl, yeah, right, phenomenology, a right. philosopher Heidegger and dedicated yeah. his book to him. Yeah. Uh, being in time. Now, wait, uh, who the dedicated the book? You're going to the things themselves. Hissero devoted, devoted her book to Heidegger? Heidegger, Heidegger was a student of Husserl. I see, okay. Yeah, but, but Husserl was a mathematician, yeah. became a philosopher. Right. And, and his, his motto, his rallying cry yeah. was to the things themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. a computer mm -hmm. uh, modeling complexity is mm -hmm. not the complexity itself. I mean, it is an example of complexity. No. But didn't but Heidegger say something about the observation of it changes it or something? There was a, yeah, the actual you're, you're, act you're of observation. You're confusing Heidegger with Heisenberg. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay. That was Heisenberg. Yeah, and that's a principle that comes in too, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Again, you're talking about your thing about being well, outside was, the goldfish I, being outside the bowl. Yes, there, I think there is there's a, there's something very, there is, a, there is um, an overlap uh -huh. philosophically yeah in a certain area between thermodynamics and quantum mechanics. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Of course, thermodynamics is much less well known, especially mm -hmm. because it's it's kind of like even worse than it's really the and dismal I, science. Yeah, but the way the, it's not the dismal just to, science. Just to finish yeah. that thought, yeah, the, 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 the sense of connection has to do with the focus on the whole, yeah. whereas the, mm -hmm. in these mechanical, and including the algorithmic yeah. based scientists of complexity mm -hmm. views of mm -hmm. how things are, they basically, yeah. even though they're called um, um, chaos, mm -hmm. they're actually, you know, it's deterministic chaos. It's an operation that's iterated many times isn't in the that, computer. Isn't that so it's something that's built up. It's something, it's basically something that um, is built up from from parts, whereas mm -hmm. when you look at thermodynamic phenomena mm -hmm. in nature, mm -hmm. the, the interesting stuff yeah. is a breakdown from a whole, mm -hmm. not a build up from a parts. And, yeah. and the, in the sense of Unified the importance field of the theory. whole is mm -hmm. very important in quantum like, mechanics, well, there's, there's a, there's a, Well, quantum mechanics is one, and that kind of thing, Planck and all that, but uh, but then there's all the unified field theory that Mr. Einstein was going on towards. So there are two kind of different ways of looking at physics. But let me ask you something. Yes. You said, if I may, thermodynamics, and the guy looking at it, he said it had the basis, and bear with me, right? Yeah. Because it's not my field. I'm no, sorry. Not mine either. Really. Oh, well, it is. Oh, you're, the, the, you're making it your field. Well, the you're following I'm, I'm these things. Trying to the serious science is being done. I'm not much, quantum mechanics. Mm, no, I'm looking at You said that it had to do with the thermodynamics of life or something. You said mm. of life. But it's the thermodynamics. It's a, it's a, it has to do with the structure of the universe itself beyond life. And life is part of a process within a larger pattern. Or You know what I'm saying? No, what are you saying? Mm, I don't know for sure. No, but, the, the, but it's not just life processes. Uh -huh. We have a, right. we have a. There are other processes that are going on. There's gaseous things. There's got primordial stuff. Right, there's right, stuff right. before Big Bang well, or, or after Big Bang, and the the whole process of astrophysics and so forth is part of the cosmic scenario, and life is another thing. But you referred to one of those as a, a life process. You right. Said, I think. Well, I, I what think is life or something? You said. Right. Well, um, and tied it in, I thought, to thermodynamics. Yes, and Maybe yes, we should yes, share, yes, yes, if yes, we yes. can, with the audience, thermodynamics. It's a very important process, yeah. and everything maybe should be better understood by, let's say, the general public and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Don't know. Well, thermodynamics, it's, part of the problem with thermodynamics is it mm -hmm. came out in the 19th century. Mm -hmm. um, what is it, first of all? Well, first, well, the word thermodynamics yeah. comes from heat. It's a study of energy systems, right. basically, but the mm -hmm. words mean thermo, heat, dynamics, movement. Mm -hmm. So originally, it was the study of um, basically steam engines, mm -hmm. you know, specifically in France with um, England having superior naval capacity mm -hmm. and military capacity and industrial capacity due to their superior um, industrial technology which was centered around the steam engine and they coal and extraction like that. They date that around 1776. Well, but yeah, but if it's sci the scientific serious investigation of mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it probably started around with Carnot, mm -hmm. so-called phenomenological thermodynamics. But basically, yeah. it's all based, you know, everybody's heard of the second law. And well, not everybody, but a lot well, of people. Lot What's of the, the first law? 
the first law is the conservation of energy right. basically energy doesn't disappear now yeah. and some people have even tried to use that to like as a possible way into having a scientific basis for immortality because uh -huh. if we're these energetic beings right. and it, uh -huh. and uh yeah. And the energy never disappears. Well, right. where does it go? So but on the it? other hand, mm -hmm. more fundamental, especially mm -hmm. in terms of building machines, was this problem that heat yeah. always dissipates. It mm -hmm. goes to the cold. Whatever, mm -hmm. the, the usable energy mm -hmm. is always being lost so that you can't, for example, make a perpetual Lost or machine. dissipate or, or, or expand it out into a well, larger it, system? Well, it does both. It, I mean, yeah. but... Um, to get the energy to run a steam engine, you can't have just heat. You have to have a difference between hot and cold. Yeah. Carnot said that. Uh -huh. Said uh -huh. Carnot. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a difference between the hot boiler and the cool radiator. Uh, and that makes kind the of, gradient. Then. Right. So, and mm. that's the gradient. And that, my co-author Eric D. Schneider, yeah. the first author. He's out in Montana? This, he's in Montana. Yeah, okay. The yeah. Hawkwood Institute. Uh -huh. And he um, very elegantly rephrased the second law. He has rephrased it. it rephrased. Is there a quote unquote uh, uh, official definition of the second law of thermodynamics? Well, there's many. Or do they vary? And, well, the, ba you know. the basic idea of the second law is that um, that heat goes into the cool. But I mean, there's a more technical definition what would is be it? that in an isolated system, close to matter and energy, entropy, mm -hmm. which was originally defined as heat divided by temperature, inevitably mm -hmm. increases. And then it was given a statistical formulation. Basic, I can let me demonstrate. Yeah. Oh, right, demonstrate it with a card trick. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to now demonstrate the second law of thermodynamics with yeah. another. You ha and look, he has no <laughs> sleeves that he can put anything up and so forth and tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, We're ready. But, but just to back up yeah. a little bit, the modern version of the second law is that things um, tend to go towards more random. More r random arrangements of matter. So if you have a complex organization, yeah, uh -huh. like a human being, yeah, very complex. Then biology is so the incredible complex. Second law, yeah. According to standard thermodynamic formulations, yeah. it should not keep on going. Mm -hmm. You should not get complexity continuing. Complexity like your cream in your coffee, yeah. or um, uh, the oxygen molecules separated from, you know, say the nitrogen molecules. Mm -hmm. They should spread out. Things mm -hmm. should tend to go towards their more um, statistically um, expected um, um, distributions. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a statistical and statistical mechanics a reinterpretation of this basic observation mm -hmm. that heat moves into the coal and that energy gets lost, that yeah. energy delocalizes. Yeah. But that was all based on isolated containers, yeah. these isolated containers. And the fact of the matter is that Though that's very true, mm -hmm. the complex systems yeah. are not isolated. They're not thermally enclosed. Doesn't matter if it's a closed or open system, or you know. it does. Uh -huh. That's the whole point. Yeah. Is that, and and so the complex systems that we're interested in yeah. are open systems. Uh -huh. We are. We you can't. Yeah. If I put you in a box, mm -hmm. anybody, mm -hmm. there you're gonna. You don't have the inputs, mm -hmm. and you don't have the out. Um, puts in order to continue going as mm -hmm. a material being and mm -hmm. this energy transformation mm -hmm. we argue is not only as crucial as the information processing mm -hmm. function that you see mm -hmm. with DNA and mm -hmm. molecular biology and all what the rest a miracle. but I'm sorry it's, it's like a but it's also um, logically prior to it mm -hmm. the information processing yeah. is justified because it's part of the apparatus by which the system continues to um, transform energy according yeah. to the second law of thermodynamics uh -huh. And that this is not entirely radical. People have realized for a long time that um, you know there's no violation of the second law when you get natural complexity. Mm -hmm. What's kind of new is that the second law, uh, these these complex systems are yeah. not just are not just not violating the second law, but they're actually producing entropy. They're re with, or reducing the gradient because Wait, my reducing the gradient. This is my yeah. my uh, yeah. my co-author right. Eric Schneider. Right, and this is a major thesis you're doing. Investigating yeah. nature abhors a gradient, and yeah. a vacuum is yeah. actually a version of a gradient. It's uh, like okay, it because that's the be vacuum result, to be it filled. Be a low pressure. Yeah, you know, if you take if you like boil all the water yeah. out of a a, um, a gas uh, a gasoline container, you know, yeah. a metal container, yeah. Yeah. create a vacuum in it yeah. by screwing on the top. Yeah. Well, the the, surf, the pressure of the atmosphere will crush that right before your eyes. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nature abhors a gradient. And it, it abhors a vacuum. Usually they say it, nature abhors a... And that is basically 
um, the observation like a Carnot type of observation, if you heat one end of a metal, piece mm -hmm. of metal, it's going to just become naturally Conduction, distributed yeah. Yeah. until it's a one lukewarm temperature. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that okay. is a gradient. That's yeah. a temperature gradient. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. If, I, if we have an energy inside a box yeah. in classical thermodynamics, uh -huh. you have you can use it to do something, but uh -huh. then because you don't have an open system, it mm -hmm. eventually comes to a standstill. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a gradient, and what is happening that that gradient is a source of the energy, mm -hmm. and that gradient naturally tends to dissipate. It's like wind, high pressure, low pressure, or something like that. It's a gradient. And that's, that's, a, that's the thing that is called a wind. And well, the movement of the atmosphere is a movement from the low pressure to high right. pressure. Right. There's a lot yeah. of things. A lot of things that go along that uh, gradient. The Gulf current. So the idea of gradient is important in the distribution of pattern of that. So the idea that Bucky Ford And the tornado is mm, a great was the example because yeah. mm. a tornado is a high or low pressure system. Yes, indeed. And With a lot of latent heat and, being released. And it yeah. will um, mm -hmm. bounce around and um, and it theoretically come to a more or less stable situation but eventually but if you have a high or low home. pressure gradient a yeah. barometric pressure gradient mm -hmm. you can get a tornado mm -hmm. or a hurricane or a hurricane as, with the I think it's, that's yeah. more of a um, it's more of a temperature uh, it is, uh, variation. It is, it is. Yeah, because you get a release of latent heat that's contained in the humidity and in the the vapor of the you know in the in the thing. Okay. But Bucky Fuller's second law of thermodynamics he used to put trippingly off the tongue was the tendency of systems to move toward chaos to the limits of the system. Yeah. That's too s simplified. Um, or and do you have to put into that sort of a thing? And then he tried to well, counterpose uh, yeah. that. He had this. Yeah. We talked about that last night. Yeah, but he, he counterposed the idea of his synergistic idea of systems resonating between, you know, systems. And then he had to, he said the, the biological process was an anti-entropic function in the universe. He cast about. Is yeah, there see, any? That's I totally disagree with that. What I is totally it about? You disagree. disagree. I know it's important because the the problem with that is that you're setting up this false opposition yeah. between entropy. Yeah. Chaos. Creation of entropy. Which is all what all systems are doing, yeah. and a biological complexity. And yeah. what, for example, to go yeah. back to the tornado for a second, yeah. this is a gradient reducing process. Uh -huh. And not only is it a gradient reducing uh -huh. process, uh -huh. but it is one that is very organized. Uh -huh. Not only is it a very organized uh -huh. gradient reducing uh -huh. process, uh -huh. but it is one which has a natural purpose. Uh -huh. And its purpose is yeah, to reduce the barometric pressure gradient. Uh -huh. So if I looked at this system, this mm. cycling tornado, let's yeah. call it, they have one now, some storms. They have it Charlie. coming on Miami yeah. now, yeah, right now, it's you and I Charlie, talk. I think, is one mm. of the names. Charlie? So let's mm. say Charlie the Tornado. I thought they named them after ladies. They do well, name them, no. It's, 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 it's the, uh, the, the fury of the tornado <laughs> can be also a man let loose. I didn't the, know. Anyway. I guess that's the, back, I guess that's the, the, the fem backlash from feminism. The feminism. <laughs> yeah, feminism has made its mark, yeah. But, right. um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, mm -hmm. if you looked at that, mm. say, from space as an alien, mm. you could say, yeah. a, say you were like an alien creationist. Sometimes I feel that way. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. I Sometimes I like to look at things that way. Yeah. But anyway, that's a, that's, a word, that's a mind game. But, yeah. but my point is mm. that this is a complex, organized, cycling system yeah. that you would not predict on the basis of the randomization tendencies of the second law of thermodynamics. <laughs> it has no DNA in mm -hmm. it. No. It has no chemistry to speak mm -hmm. of in it. Mm -hmm. It's a strictly a physical system, and yeah. yet it's highly organized. Organized, so highly yeah. organized that you could see it from space. It's yeah. this, this yeah. almost design-like yeah. thing. Yeah. It, so, it designed so well, in fact, mm -hmm. that no artist could create something like that. Yeah, and that's and outside the, the biological that's, process. That's the natural gradient-reducing yeah. complexity type okay. of behavior that we postulate right. in this Into the Cool book. In the book. Into the Cool. All, is into all, the Cool. Into the Cool. Well. Because that's what happens oh. to heat. Into yeah. the Cool. I see. Uh -huh. It's also at work in mm -hmm. the very structure and process of life uh -huh. itself. Well, wait, life, the, uh, the, the Let life, me show you this uh, okay, show the card Okay, this is, mm. this, this is mm. a statistical demonstration. All right, statistical okay. demonstration, ladies and gentlemen, okay. of entropy. Okay. No, of what, of this, of, of thermodynamics. Of, of what happens with oh. thermodynamics, okay. yes. Okay, here's this, a demonstration. This is specifically as to Lady, boys to memory. and girls, take your, uh, they should not All right, no, take, take a notes. card. Any card, don't, card. Let, don't let me in. Well, you just you. stuck one out. Do you want yeah. me to take you're the one you stuck out? You're trying to, yeah. You're paranoid, come on. I am. Okay, just take a card. Sometime. Wait a minute. Okay, right, I'll you don't trust me. No, well, I, I, I'll turn well, my head. Just little. go ahead. Anytime. Oh, just take a card. Oh, no, don't mind. Oh, I, yeah. You're easy. I'm too <laughs> naive. I've been accused. Take a card. Oh, take a card. Okay, All right. Card. I got, okay, okay, I got okay, it. Okay, now show okay it. everybody, show here. It. Here's the card. Can you show it over here? Here. I'll put it into the camera. Can go ahead. see it? Just show it. So here, we got to just switch. Uh, 
You can't look. We're standing here. We're waiting. Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm waiting for them to show the card. Here, can you show the card? There it is. Okay, everybody okay. in the audience, you see the card. Okay, I've got okay. the card. Okay, I'm coming and back. And I've here. got it. Wait a minute. I've got the card. Okay, you got it. I've got the card. Okay, here. I'm coming back. All right, come All back. Right. Come back. Yeah. Now, hold no. it out. Hold out the card. Hold it out. What upside. I want you to do is put it in the deck. Uh, yeah, but before you put it in, I want to just look at me in the eye right now. Remember. So that you can do no, something no, no, no. tricky. Remember. I remember the card. Remember this moment. And you're going to remember, oh, remember this, this moment, moment and and in my brain. Okay, remember. I remember. Okay, I remember. Okay. I remember. You'll remember. Okay. I will remember. It's forever in the Kashuk okay, record now, and my mind. Now, speaking of the Kashuk record, yes. beautiful example Isn't of thermodynamics. From the because Vedics, this is what happens. Yeah. This, that's a beautiful. You it told is. me this. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell us what the Kashuk record well, is. Well, they say that nothing's lost. It's Nothing like is lost. Yeah, everything is remembered. Right. Every nuance of every right. communication exactly. between every Nothing organism and every non-organism right. is right. all right. nothing's right. lost. It's all somewhere. That's the Vedics. Yeah, right. I think For example, there. you chose mm -hmm. a card, and this is yeah. a version of the second law. Because what does the second law basically do, as far as we're concerned? It shuffles and mixes things up. It mixes yeah. your cream, your coffee. It moves toward chaos. Yeah. It moves towards chaos. Yeah, right. 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 So that's what this is simulating right here with the with the shuffling of the cards. We're simulating chaos. That's what I'm doing. I can see that. Yeah. Now, yeah, what I'm going to do is show something yeah. happened to me in a slumber party. Yeah, right. They mix uh, it up even worse. You know, I said shuffle the cards. Wait a minute, minute. show them what he's doing. Can you go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, they, they got you. The go ahead. They shuffle the cards and they and they did it even worse. So yeah. now we're really screwed up here. Yeah. Let's the see. cards are not only because mixed up; they're face up, yeah. and face down. Yeah, I can see that. And yeah. all like that. Yeah. So what I want you to do is to take this card and just use it like a wand. Just just move it around like this. Just move it around like this. Now see what happens. Magic, magic, magic. It's a record. Yeah, right. Look what happens. We go back. Remember. Look at that. You right, see that? Right, yeah. Unmix They're all back. How did they do Unmixing. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Turn over the card. Remember? I'll be damned. Excuse my French. Excuse my <laughs> Oh, How did you do that, Mr. Houdini? Maxwell's Demon. Yes, that's <laughs> fantastic. That's really great. That's really good. So but that's I it. like doing See, stuff like that. See, this is a way to demonstrate these important scientific principles in a way that could be understood well, what, more or less. Well, more or less. If well, you do some suspension you know, the, of judgment. The classical, or no, not judgment. Of, 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 disbelief. Of, of disbelief, yeah. yeah. Well, the classical magicians used mm. science, like mm. Robert Houdin, mm. Houdini's namesake. Uh -huh. Houdin, uh, Robert Houdin, he wanted to be a yeah. watchmaker. Yeah. And he he got an encyclopedia and he had a magic books instead yeah. and he became a magician yeah. and he became one of the greatest the great, French yeah. magicians of all time and mm. then Houdini, was his original. real name was Eric Weiss, took a who danced name and added an Italian no kidding, eye I to it. See, yeah, you got a font of wisdom. But, but, but what mm. um, Houdin did is he, he to put down a, a mm -hmm. rebellion yeah. in the colony of Algeria for the French government. Yeah. Is it okay for time? Yeah, yeah, we got about five minutes. He, um, he used science, he used electromagnetism yeah. in order to pretend to have powers that he didn't have. For example, he had a big Arab strongman mm -hmm. come and try and lift this valise, but mm -hmm. unbeknownst to the people watching the show, there was, an elect there was metal in the valise and mm -hmm. there was an electromagnet concealed underneath the floor. So oh, this the big guy could yeah, not yeah, lift it up. Right. Then he and said, then well, I'm a magician, and he had a little boy come yeah, and, and lift it right up. Right and up. they did similar things with yeah. the bullet catching. Yeah, but that's loading the deck. And no, that's but, yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that that's using um, science in order to like um, accrue to the ego and the powers of the yeah. magician. I think Whereas there's a to lot me, of that. It's almost more interesting yeah. to take the um, reality to take these tricks yeah. and to demonstrate the, the reality, the greater mysteries yeah. of existence, rather than the 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 cranery, the Akashic, right? The Akashic, Akashic, A K S H I C K, yeah, I K, I think. Harry Caris, yeah, right. Well, that's Maxwell's demon. Yeah, well, it's like that because we're coming to where we're understanding things like you know, it's amazing because what a time to be alive is, and we're coming to where we only just learned about acetylcholine and the neurotransmitters. I don't know, a couple decades ago, we only just learned. We just got the genome now. We just learned. We're learning so much about things that had to have been in the realm of magic or something like that. Yeah. It's a very exciting time to be a live participant and conscious and we're coming to understand things better and better and better and the veils of secrecy are being observed through good science and through that. Are you optimistic for the human prospect and what do you think? And what about coming around to the idea of purpose of universe? And if I may, Mr. Fuller, he happens to be a... a, a they got, he's on you, and you're really against the idea. Is there any purpose or is there any point in talk? You were talking about the structure of these things. You're working out with a guy in Montana. <laughs> but is there any... What's it all about, Alfie? What's it all about? Here we are in this <laughs> universe. And what's it all about in the big pattern? Is there any purpose? And how do we get any sense of purpose? Or should we hold tight to the fact that there is no... if if there is no purpose or direction or arrow in terms of what this is all about, including the biological evolutionary process in the universe. What's the final story on the meaning of life and the processes of which life is a part in this universe and possibly parallel universes of Mr. Hawking's and that kind of thing, and some of the super string has effect? What's it all about?
Yes. <laughs> you got, you got, you, you you got, almost you finished got, that. You got, you got 30 seconds to, to enlighten. You better start repairing to, listen, young man, I'm suggesting you start seriously taking up high food. I wish you asked me that question at the beginning yeah, of the show. I know, if I could, it could have been a whole different answer. program, but that's, you see, that's the way I go. Mm. Well, I mean, there's some fascinating... But congratulations on the writing and everything. Oh, no, yeah, I, yeah. I, thanks so yeah, much for yeah. having me on the show. No, it's a pleasure. It's, I, it's uh, an honor. No, but t t pay some attention to what I just said at the beginning. What's it well, all about? An, I'm, what are, I'm what is very science interested in, I'm very and, interested in the idea of, yeah. first of all, what using this kind of rationality that you do to disentangle magic tricks yeah. and applying that to the universe at large, but yeah. not necessarily in ways that have already been figured out by science, because these ultimate questions about purpose of individuals, yeah. the purpose of the universe and stuff System, are a yeah. little bit outside of the uh, data set that's oh. available to come to actual, you know, experimental conclusions in mm -hmm. science. That does not mean that mm -hmm. they're refractory mm -hmm. to rationality. Mm -hmm. In fact, Aldous Huxley in his mm -hmm. perennial philosophy specifically yeah. says mm -hmm. that the way that you, the mystical way, it's not about mystification, it's uh. about exploring mysteries through rationality. Right. And he said uh. even higher, uh -huh. in a sense, for the mystics than yeah. knowing God yeah. as a, a form of love. Uh -huh. is a, as a form is using rationality, which mm. seems counterintuitive, yeah. especially to people from a scientific mind, but I think yeah. that there's stuff that you can um, say about that. Mm. And specifically, I'm barking up the trees yeah. of um, Einstein and Spinoza. Or maybe so C.P. Snow talking about the division of culture and science. We got science, and now we got this big thing, and I know you've had discussions with Bay, Michael Bay and that sort of thing. We got a thing between uh, creationists, uh, let's put yeah. that out of the side. Yeah. But we got this intelligent design notion, Bayhe and Dembski and some of these people, mm -hmm. and then there's the hardcore evolutionary scientists and so forth. And that's kind of, Do you think those two will ever come together, or what's going to happen around those two? Uh, uh, poles. Well, I think there's a lot of different. Things, once you, you open know? your mind, there's a lot of different areas yeah. for rapprochement. I mean, I don't I hope, necessarily, yeah. you know, agree obviously with everything that everybody says. But, yeah, I, I mean, know. there's a lot of different ways that things can be put together in ways that you wouldn't expect. You yeah. know, you'd, sometimes you're, you find yourself in a camp different than what you, you thought you might be. For example, with the thermodynamic stuff, mm. I think that you can look at individuals as having a purpose. But on a on a on the a scale, gradient, I, yeah, on a, a, yeah, a, the yeah. scale of the universe as a whole, uh, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a mystic at heart, and that's one of the beauties of mysticism mm -hmm. is it really never lends itself to anything final that you can say in language. Right. Therefore, you get like the Zen cones and stuff. Yeah. But it's nonetheless, and because of that, it's a mm -hmm. continuous fount mm -hmm. for art and yeah. for ways of. Um, expressing it that are inexhaustible. Makes things I mean, really, we, yeah, it makes it. Uh, I mean, I think no one would be worse than knowing the final theory of everything. We gotta go. I'm All sorry right. because that damn clock. <laughs> we didn't think it was Sacha Nanani. He wouldn't cop the idea of time, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, it's your pleasure. Have the, we just got started. This is Dorian uh, Sagan. And he's a scientist and a writer and a sleight of hand extraordinaire, as he's been able to demonstrate, which is going to be able to educate all the people and the kiddies to science and science through this kind of thing. Yeah. It's your pleasure to have his perceptions. We invite you to tune in. We'll be coming back again tomorrow. That's it. Dorian, thanks a lot for coming in. Good bon voyage home and keep up the good work. I hope you get that uh, book done with the fellow out in Montana and all the projects you're involved in. Merci beaucoup. And my best for all the people in New York City to your very illustrious mother. Okay. who is an incredible font of knowledge and scientific understanding. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Then. So are you, that's the trouble, you run out of time, you see. But uh, we got a lot in and everything, so that's it. So don't say anything untoward. <laughs> untoward. Anything untoward. Yeah, yeah something, uh, you know, like that. But anyway, so it's good, and uh, it's just there. That was, that was a really amazing trick. You can take the onion if you want. You know? Okay. Yeah, you can take yeah, the onion because yeah. that's good. Thank God for humor. I don't know where we'd be without I know. humor. I know. know? It, well, it's a little dicey sometimes because yeah. you feel like you're taking away what you're... From the authority. Siri, the Siri yeah, people take the... the, the like, oh, he's just joking around. But I think funny is really a great way to educate on no, things like and that. Also, and it makes it a lot more painless. Yeah, and more interesting, and there's things yeah, that can be tedious. revealed in that kind of thing. In a That's way, a like severe... That. Yeah, it's, yeah. A weapon. it's kind of a double-edged... Yeah, right, yeah. It's an interesting where the Chinese argued or warned against living in interesting times. These are the most incredibly interesting times right. ever. I mean, to my way of thinking, I mean, it's just a revolution on every front coming in over the transom every day, practically. Now, do you know what I mean? There's so much going on. I can imagine people being angst-ridden but not bored. Yeah. Because there's so much interesting stuff going on.